I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. Welcome to the Black Excellence and Abundance Channel. Black Native Americans have been all but ignored in this country. We have been written out of the history books and it is as if we never existed in the first place. The truth is, this country was filled with many all black so-called Indian Native American tribes. This country was filled with so-called black Indians, true Native Americans. One area of note is California. The true history of California blacks is a powerful story, one that should be studied and remembered. I urge you to please do your research and you will be surprised by the majestic history of our people here in this country. There were California blacks or Califians, also referred to as Califians, spelt with a KH. The California blacks were one of the largest and oldest native nations in the Americas. They were the people Europeans originally referred to as the Red Man. One account of what it was really like in California comes from the writing of historian Robert Beverly from the 1700s. He writes, Far and away the most beautiful city on earth, five times the size of London or Rome. Great towers and buildings rising from the water. 60,000 gleaming houses. How spacious and well built they were. Of beautiful stonework and cedar wood and wood of other sweet scented trees. Many streets and boulevards were so neat and well swept despite the multitude of inhabitants. Crisscrossed with a complete network of channels like an enormous Venice, but also remarkable floating gardens that remain from nowhere else on earth. So you see, black Native Americans not only lived here, but we thrived here. And we thrived for thousands of years before Columbus. As a matter of fact, blacks were in this country even before the birth of the Savior, before Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach. California Native American Identity. The original indigenous inhabitants of California were the descendants of West Africa, South America's Omeka Zai Empire, 1500 to 400 BCE, Egypt, Asia, and the Pacific Islands, creating a mixed cultural nation that thrived for thousands of years in peace. The following is what an exhibition of European explorers actually found upon their arrival in North America. There were huge aqueducts transported America's water from fresh springs. But what impressed most were special merchant areas filled with timber and tile and other building materials being bought and so, if there were green grocers, streets where everyone could buy every sort of vegetable, fruit, honey, and chocolates, astonished by personal cleanliness and hygiene of the colorfully dressed people and by their extravagant use of soaps, deodorant, and breath sweeteners. According to Beverly, there were nations that were scientifically advanced. They were highly civilized populations with an abundance of gold and wealth whose history spanned thousands of years. Ancient America was notably one of the most advanced civilizations in antiquity. This was before Christ, before the Spaniards, before Mexicans, before the Clovis people who crossed the Barren Straits, before what is now known as the Native American Indian or Euro conversions. No European 
who had tasted the life of Indians can afterwards not bear to live in any other society. Benjamin Franklin. Franklin also wrote, There is no force in Indian societies, no prisons, no officers to inflict punishment. Benjamin Franklin. You see, we weren't all bought on ships called Jesus, Liberty, Grace, Justice, or Mercy. Our ancestors were already here, natives to this land, long before Columbus. Gigantic stone heads in central Mexico. The Olmec civilization was the first significant civilization in Mesoamerica deemed mother culture of Mexico by some historians. This civilization, dominated by Africans, is best known for the colossal carved heads in central Mexico that served as even more evidence that Africans sailed to the New World before Columbus. The heads are clearly crafted in the likeness of Africans. The same civilization that created these giant heads was also responsible for introducing written language, arts, sophisticated astronomy, and mathematics to a Mesoamerican civilization, ancient African historian Professor Ivan Van Sertema explained. We do want to point out that there is evidence of other races in the Americas prior to the arrival of Columbus. There were Asians. Pacific Islanders, and there's even evidence of Europeans before Columbus. But the landscape was definitely dominated by the black people, the black Native Americans. Many black people in this country have been told that we have so-called Indian blood. I know that I have. And many, many others have the same experience. Well, chances are, it's the truth. When you look at the characteristics that many of us have with the high cheekbones, etc., there's a good possibility that more than we know that we are Native Americans. While we know that many of our ancestors did come in on slave ships, however, we know that there is proof that millions upon millions of our ancestors were here before Columbus, before the transatlantic slave trade. So yes, folks, there is overwhelming evidence that suggests that the first Americans were actually black people. There is archaeological evidence, there's written evidence, and there's oral evidence. Which proves that black people are the first Americans. The Black Excellence and Abundance Channel, where black history is every day. Thanks for watching. As always, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And remember, thou art rich.